Hi everyone, Digistream.info here to show you how to set up an encoder using SAM Broadcaster version 4.9.0 or higher. As of this recording, I believe the new version is 4.9.4. .4. We are using 4.9.0, but the encoder works the same. What you see here in front of you is basically my setup uh, for uh, SAM Broadcaster, which works well for me, and everyone has a different um, setup that they like to use. What I'd like to focus on is the encoder window, and if you don't have that window open, be sure you click on Window and then bring it up. And we're going to create an encoder using a Shoutcast server from version 1. We are not using a version 2 server, just a version 1. And this is critical because the default in SAM is for version 2. <coughs> Excuse me, I had to clear my throat there. So... Keep that in mind that the default is version 2, and we'll show you how to change it over to version 1. It's, it's really very simple. So you want to create uh, your um, encoder. You can do that either by clicking on Menu and clicking on New, or you can go ahead and click on this plus key here, and you're going to get your Select Plugin window. And we suggest the MP3 with the lame underscore ENC. So go ahead and click on that, and then click on OK. And you're brought to your uh, encoder and streamer configuration window. <clears throat> so now when you've gotten your um, server details from your provider, uh, you will have had um, maybe a specific bit rate uh, that you can use. I'm just going to leave it at 64 for now. Um, just to, But you can, of course, select whatever it is. If it's 128, 192, whatever, whatever it is. We're just going to leave it at 64 for now. Uh, stereo mode, and then the sampling rate, we're going to leave it at auto. On the right-hand side of the general options, we're basically going to leave it the way it is, uh, especially this one here, auto reconnect encoder after 15 seconds. That is so that if you drop the server, the encoder will try to reconnect to the server uh, after about 15 seconds. So it's a good thing to leave that on. Um, try not to have that too short of a time. Uh, there are some stations where you count a DJ in and, and it just... It can, cre it can create problems with people trying to connect and not connect. So, but yeah, just leave that on and, and we'll be good there. <clears throat> Click on the Detail uh, Servers tab here at the top. And this is where you're going to put in all your information. So basically your server detail, you want to make sure that it is Shoutcast. And then right here, as you can see, V2 is selected. That is the default for SAM Broadcaster. So go ahead and switch that to V1 because we are using a version 1 server, 1.9.8 to be exact. So make sure V1 is selected, and I really want to stress that. You have to have V1 selected if you are on a, a version 1.9.x server from Shoutcast. If you're using a version 2 server, which your provider should tell you if you are or not, then you would select the V2 or leave V2 selected. So with V1 selected, go ahead and put in your uh, stream information. Uh, your server IP is going to be either numbers or a domain name. And in our case, we have cp6.digistream.info. Our port number is 8002. And I can't stress the next part enough. Make sure that you type the information into the window. Don't copy and paste. Sometimes when you copy and paste a blank character, can be created and you really won't know about it <clears throat> especially for the um, password so be sure that you carefully type in your password here okay station details I recommend you put something in there whether it's the name of the radio station you're on or if it's your uh, on on air name something uh, to put in there <clears throat> Genre, it'll be whatever you want. Uh, you can also put in website URL. You can put your website here. Uh, you don't have to, but you can. And then I'd go ahead and leave everything else. Um, list on public station listing means that you will be listed somewhere on the shoutcast.com uh, radio station directory. Enable title streaming means that the name of the song will appear based on what you have in SAM for each file. It'll appear to the uh, listener as the artist and song title, uh, and also 
on the shoutcast.com page. If you don't want to be listed on shoutcast.com, just do it, go ahead and uncheck it. And if you don't want those titles to be um, listed, which quite honestly, I don't know why you would want to do that, but you can uncheck that also. <clears throat> so to recap, we have shoutcast selected, v1 selected. You have your server IP in there, your port number in there, and your password in there. You filled out things under station details. You are ready to click OK. And there's your encoder. Now I'm going to stretch this out just a little bit. And the nice thing about Sam is that if something goes wrong, Sam lets you know pretty much what the problem is. <clears throat> so under status, um, it might say disconnected, might say encoding, might have a few things in there. But what you really want to see is right here under description. It will tell you what the problem is. It might be a, an error code. Um, it might say uh, cannot send uh, f uh, data fast enough or something to that effect. It might say um, uh, incorrect password. So you want to make sure that uh, you have visibility to that, especially if things go wrong. Uh, one thing I want to add, though, before we start encoding is see this button here. It's called DSP. Make sure that that button is selected. Um, you can use the red button, but that's basically just going to play whatever your sound card hears. Um, I don't recommend it um, unless you have your unless you have your sound card configured to what you hear or stereo mix. I would not recommend that. Make sure it is set to DSP like it is here. Now, to show you how this description piece works with with an uh, with an error message, I'm going to go ahead and double click in my encoder, and I'm going to put in the wrong password. And I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to click the Start button here, and it's trying to log in, and you'll see it says Invalid Server Password. That's the beauty of SAM. It lets you know what the problem is. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it, go back in there, and carefully I'm going to type in my password. And you'll see now that I will be able to encode once I press the Start button. And it's still telling me it's an invalid password. <laughs> oh, you've got to love the beauty of these things. There we go. And so now we are encoding uh, to the server, as you can see. So I'm going to stop the encoder, and I'm going to close this window up a little bit. So we can have a little window and have my two decks here. I, I like to have that encoder between the two decks because I can see everything right there. Um, okay, so we have everything set up. Um, and now what you want to do is go ahead and just put your <clears throat> uh, song in your deck. I'm going to turn this off here so you don't hear the music in the background. I have it set to Auto DJ, so it'll just play whatever's here. I'm going to click once to highlight my encoder, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on the Start button. I will now be encoding, as it's telling me there, and now I'm going to start playing my music. And I am now streaming on the Internet, playing music to my server. I'm going to expand this a little more. So this will kind of tell you some information about what's going on with, with the server at the time. So a, a good piece of information to have there. Um, and that's really how you, how you set it up. Um, one of the things, you know, when you're done, of course, you know, the song's going to stop. Here's your stop button right here. You want to click on that. And the status returns to idle. And the description will tell you that it is not started. Okay. Uh, if you want to <clears throat> edit the server, change information on it, whatever, you can do it one of two ways. You can either click on this Configure Currently Selected Encoder button, or you can just simply click on the menu and click Config, or you can just double-click on it and have it open up for you. And if you want to delete the encoder, well, this minus key here is... Um, how you can uh, remove it. And I'm going to do that. It'll ask you if you want to are sure, say yes, and it'll remove it. Now, you can have many encoders in this window. Okay, so um, if you're working for different areas or in different things where you require different uh, stream 
um, details. Uh, you can have one for each. You just need to remember which one is used for what. So again, um, I'm going to go ahead and, and click here, click here. And remember, it is go to server details, V1. That is the key right there. Make sure V1 is selected and then put in all your other information. So I think that does it. That shows how you can set up an encoder using version 4.9.0 or higher in SAM and a Shoutcast server using version 1. I can't emphasize it enough. Make sure you select V1 for your server if you are on a version 1 server. As of this recording, Digistream uh, still rents out version 1 servers. And if we should ever, uh, or when we start um, uh, handing out version 2 servers, we will be sure to let you know, the customer know, uh, that it is a version 2 server. So check us out at digi-stream.info, that's D-I-G-I-stream.info, and check us out. We have some great deals going on there, and we do strive to make your streaming experience a pleasurable one.